Welcome, everyone, from the desert, bringing you Desert Faith at DesertBedrock.com. Let's begin as we begin all things holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The following is an excerpt from the Divine Office, also known as the Liturgy of the Hours. The second reading that is taken from the Office of Readings. From a letter to the Corinthians by Saint Clement the First. Pope. Wonderful are God's gifts. Beloved, how blessed and wonderful are God's gifts. There is life everlasting, joy in righteousness, truth in freedom, faith, confidence, and self-control in holiness. And these are the gifts that we can comprehend. What of all the others that are being prepared for those who look to Him? Only the Creator, the Father of the ages, the All-Holy, knows their grandeur and their loveliness. And so, we should strive to be found among those who wait for Him, so that we may share in these promised gifts. And how is this to be, beloved brothers? It will come about if by our faith our minds remain fixed on God, if we aim at what is pleasing and acceptable to Him, if we accomplish what is in harmony with His faultless will, and follow the path of truth, rejecting all injustice, viciousness, covetousness, quarrels, malice, and deceit. Our entire body, then, will be preserved in Christ Jesus, and each of us should be subject to his neighbor in accordance with the grace given to each. The stronger should care for the weak, and the weak should respect the stronger. The wealthy should give to the poor and the poor man should thank God that he has sent him someone to supply his needs. The wise should manifest their wisdom not in words, but in good deeds. And the humble should not talk 
about their own humility, but allow others to bear witness to it. Since, therefore, we have all this from Him, we ought to thank Him for it all. Glory to Him forever. Amen. From the Desert with Desert Faith, this message has been delivered to you individually and collectively. Each and every syllable, word, and sentence, all in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In nomine Patris et Fili et Spiritus Sancti. Amen. <laughs>